Introducing the DJI RC Plus Remote Controller. Remote Controller System Interface. Power on the remote controller and enter the home screen. The top bar displays the time, Wi-Fi signal, and battery level of the remote controller. At the bottom of the home screen, there are DJI Pilot 2 app. Gallery is used to view the stored photos or videos. File is to check stored files and Firefox allows you to open the browser. Tap Settings to enter system settings. Tap Tips to read the detailed information on the remote controller buttons and LEDs. Screen Gestures. You can control its features from this screen and activate several outcomes with the simple three gestures. Slide from the left or right to the center of the screen to return to the previous screen. Slide up from the bottom of the screen to return to the home screen. Slide up from the bottom of the screen and hold to access recently opened apps. Shortcut settings. Slide down from the top of the screen to enter shortcut settings. The interface is divided into two parts. Notifications are on the left and shortcuts panel is on the right side. One, notifications. Tap to view system notifications. 2. Recent. Tap to view and switch to recently opened apps. 3. Home. Tap to return to the home screen. 4. System settings. Tap to access system settings. 5. Shortcuts. Tap to enable or disable Wi-Fi. Tap and hold to enter settings and connect to or add a Wi-Fi network. Tap to enable or disable Bluetooth. Tap and hold to enter settings and connect with nearby Bluetooth devices. Tap to enable do not disturb mode. In this mode, system prompts will be disabled. Display enhancement. Once enabled, the display brightness is enhanced to assist in shooting. However, there are differences between the source and display effect. While the source photo or video taken by the aircraft is not affected. Screen recording. Tap to start screen recording. Screenshot. Tap to screenshot the screen. Mobile data. Tap to turn mobile data on or off. Tap and hold to set up mobile data and diagnose network connection status. Airplane mode. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile data will be disabled. Six, adjust brightness. Slide the bar to adjust the screen brightness. Tap the asterisk icon to enter auto brightness mode. Slide the bar or tap the icon to switch to manual brightness mode. 7. Adjust volume. Slide the bar to adjust the volume. Tap the mute button. Tap to mute. Note that after muting, all sounds of the remote controller will be completely disabled, including related alarm sounds. Please turn on mute with caution. HDMI settings. When you need to share the camera view to a display, Connect the HDMI port of the remote controller to the display with the HDMI cable and set the resolution in the app. Combination buttons. Some frequently used features can be activated by using combination buttons. Here we will introduce how to use them. Back button plus left dial, adjust brightness. Back button plus right dial, adjust volume. Back button plus record button, record screen back button plus shutter button, screenshot, back button plus 5D button, toggle up to enter the home screen, down to the shortcut settings, left to access to recently opened apps. Compass calibration. The compass may need to be calibrated after the remote controller is used in areas with electromagnetic interference. A warning prompt will appear if the compass requires calibration. Tap the warning prompt to start calibrating or follow the steps to calibrate the compass. One, power on the remote controller and enter the home screen. Two, enter settings, tap compass, start calibrating the compass. Three, follow the on-screen instructions to calibrate the compass. Four, the prompt will be displayed when the calibration is successful.